Hello everyone, welcome to Talent Battle. In this video, I am going to cover some questions which are important for Wipro NTH 2020. Before starting with the video, if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, do make sure you are subscribing to our channel as we will be posting lot of updates related to campus and Wipro NTH through our channel. Check the first question, what is the difference between LCM and HCF of the numbers 20, 30 and 40? The question is very easy. If you check, the maximum questions are asked on HCF LCM, directions, coding, blood relation and simple interest topic related to quantitative and logical reasoning I am saying. So in this question they are asking a difference between LCM and HCF for 20, 30 and 40. Now you can orally also calculate HCF and LCM but if you don't know the method let me quickly show it to you. So HCF of 20, 30, 40 is quite clear it is going to be 10 okay because 10 is the highest number which divides 20, 30 and 40 and LCM of 20 and 30 and 40 you can calculate that orally also but if you don't want to calculate I will first divide by the number which is common which is 10 so then 2, 3, 4. Then again some number which is common between the three numbers so I will divide it by 2 so this will be 1, 3, 2 and then I will divide it by 2 and 3. So you can check what will happen ultimately over here I will be having 1, 1, 1. So LCM is usually calculated like this and then the numbers which I am having on the left side product of those numbers will be my LCM. So 10 into 2, 20 into 2, 40 my LCM is 120. So the question is very easy, they have just asked you what is the difference between LCM and HCF, the difference is 110. Now let's check this question related to blood relation topic. P is the son-in-law of S, T and Q are children of P, M is the mother of T, how is M related to S? So let me just draw a diagram over here. So P is the son-in-law of S, that means, that means P is husband of daughter of S. So I will draw S over here. S will have one daughter. Okay. So since she is a daughter, I am using a normal notations. So suppose notation I have used as a circle and P is husband of her because P is son-in-law of S. Son-in-law means daughter's husband. Since he is husband, I will draw two lines over here. T and Q are children of P. So T and Q are children of P means they are going to be children of daughter of S as well because they are husband and wife. M is mother of T. So as P is father, M is mother that means M and P are husband and wife. Okay. So what they have asked, how is M related to S? So the question is very easy. The answer is going to be daughter. M is daughter of S. Now let's check this question. The simple interest earned on a certain amount is double the money when invested for 15 years. What interest rate is offered? So usually to solve questions like this, whenever they are going to say double, triple, 15 times, any times, okay? What you can do? You can just consider principal as 100. You can consider it as X as well. But by considering it 100, it will be easy for calculation. It will be easy for calculation. So let just let me write down the values which they have provided. So let me consider principal as 100. So what they are saying simple interest on a certain amount is double the money. So money was 100. So simple interest should be 200 which I need to consider. Next. So I will just put values in the formula. Simple interest is nothing but PRT divided by 100. Simple interest in this case is 200. Principal I have considered 100. Then rate of interest we need to calculate and timing which they have given is 15 divided by 100. So 100 and 100 will get cancelled. R is going to be 200 divided by 15. So 15 into 1, 5 0 means 15 into 3, again 15 means 13.3. So answer for this question is going to be 13.3 percentage. Now let's check this question based on number series. One third of a two digit number exceeds its one fourth by seven. What is the sum of the digit of the number? So they are discussing about one particular number. Let me discuss or let me consider that number as X. So one third of a two digit number. So one third, this is my two digit number. Okay. One third of X exceeds its one fourth by seven. So one fourth means one by four of X. One third of X is seven more than the one fourth of X. So I can write equation like one third of X is equal to one fourth of X plus seven since it exceeds its one by four of X by seven. 
so now just you need to solve this 4 1 by 3 of x is nothing but x divided by 3 is equal to x by 4 plus 7 means x plus 28 divided by 4 so let me just do calculation 4x is equal to 3x plus 28 into 3 so next thing will be x if I take it on the left side so it will be x is equal to 84 so what they have asked they have asked us what is the sum of the digits of the number digits of the number is 8 and 4 so addition is going to be 12 so sum of the digits of the number answer should be 12 now this is interesting question related to directions Mehak was in whimsical mood and to reach her home from her office she took the following steps so what I will do I will draw it side by side now what steps she has taken four steps towards north so I will just draw it like here for suppose this is her office and to reach to her home she is taking some steps four steps towards north I will draw like this suppose four steps okay these are the four steps towards north next three steps towards east now as we know the direction this is north this is south this is east and this is west so what are the next steps she has taken three steps towards east so three, this will be direction three next eight steps towards south so total eight steps towards south so this will be eight next six steps towards west so this will be left direction to us so six steps towards south uh, west seven steps towards north so again she is going towards north direction and now she is going to cover total seven steps next five steps towards east so again she is going to cover total five steps so this will be five and then what has happened six steps towards south so this will be six and then again what she has done four steps towards west so again four steps towards west and then four steps finally reached her home taking three steps towards north so three steps towards north now though you may feel now you may feel this is a bit difficult but it is not actually difficult just you need to use a proper logic First what I would recommend, try to calculate the vertical distance, what has happened. So let us do it one by one. What has done? What has happened? Four steps towards north. So suppose this is four. Then eight steps towards south. I am just considering a vertical distance. So what has happened? She has gone, this is her office. Okay. Four steps towards north, eight steps towards south. So that means four steps towards south from her office. Then what has happened? Again, if you check, 7 steps towards north. So, 7 steps towards north, this is. And then again, if you check, 6 steps towards south. And then again, 3 steps towards north. So, just check how much distance she has gone upwards and downwards. Upwards, if you check, 4 and 7, which is 11, plus 3, which is 14. 14 upward. And downwards towards south 8 and 6 so you need to understand she is currently at the same horizontal level of her office she is not towards upward side or down downward sides so now let us calculate the horizontal distance what has happened three steps towards east so let me just calculate suppose let us consider her office three steps towards east then six steps towards south then again what has happened five steps towards east and then again if you check four steps towards west what is the horizontal distance towards east three plus five eight towards east and towards west six plus four towards west so if you check if i consider this is her office she is anyhow going to be at the same horizontal level since vertical distance is same like towards north and south now what has happened with the horizontal distance 8 towards east and 10 towards west means she is going to be at a distance of 2 meter towards west direction from her office. So answer is going to be 2 meter west. Just if you draw it carefully you will get answer very easily. So thank you for watching this video. We will be uploading more videos from our YouTube channel continuously. So just make sure you are subscribing to our channel and do press on the bell icon to get the notifications very quickly. Thank you.